everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing a what's in my purse, as you guys can see from the title. I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I have in my purse. I love filming these videos. I have quite a few of them on my YouTube channel, so if you want to scroll through my videos, you'll be able to find them there. We are also in a different location. This is our game room. So me and Charlie, we have the same matching blue and black gaming desks, and we also have the same blue and black gaming chairs. This is like our hangout area. If we want to play video games together after our son goes to sleep, we have a reclining couch over here. If we wanted to lay down, watch a movie, watch some TV, um, just our little hangout spot. And I absolutely love it in here. We have some nano leafs in the back that have this beautiful like LED coloring. Same with our desks. Like we just love that. So I thought that it would be really cool to film in here, to have a different spot to film in, and to give you guys something else to look at instead of like my bathroom or like a backdrop. Like it's just something different. So that is why we were in here and this is where I'm going to be filming what's in my purse. So like I said, I do have a good amount of these on my YouTube channel, but I have a new purse that my mom surprised me with and I thought I need to film a what's in my purse, especially because I have some new things in my bag that I'm really excited to show you guys. So this is my purse right here. She bought this from Shop I Love Jewelry. The name is very deceiving because they don't just sell jewelry. They sell so many Many other things on there that isn't jewelry so this right here is so beautiful this I believe is called the monogram tweed handbag Coco tweed if you go on their website you'll be able to see the bag it's just gorgeous it has my initials on here I wanted because I have a hyphenated last name instead of putting my middle name which is an R I decided just to have my first initial and then my two last initials so ggf so that is what is on this bag right here my mom surprised me with it i texted her after i was scrolling through i think it was facebook and i saw their advertisement and i was like oh my god i need this bag like i need this bag and she surprised me with it and i am so thankful because this bag is like my new favorite purse like it is just perfect i feel for any season because it is just a neutral it's light but it has the neutral brown it's just really gorgeous and i love the chain right here that it has uh you could use these to hold it with but i love just putting this on my arm and carrying it like that having the chain be like a little detail added to the bag but you could carry it any way that you'd like it also does come with these inside right here that you can snap the bag together but I don't keep it like that I normally just keep it open easier for me to grab things when I need them but let's get into what I have in my purse so I have a purse organizer that I bought off of Amazon which I will pull out after I pull everything out just so you guys can see it but I'm just gonna start with the basics so I have a pair of sunglasses. I just keep one pair of sunglasses, a basic pair, plain black, because it will go with any outfit. And if it's sunny out, I can just throw them on. So I just keep these cat eye sunglasses in my purse. And my son is sleeping right here on the monitor. Not sure if you can see him. I also have my wallet. This is just a Juicy Couture wallet that my grandmother got me for Christmas last year. Once again, I love neutrals and I love blacks. So this is just black with gold. So I thought, oh, it goes with my purse, especially since the interior is black as well. Everything just goes together. Um, but this is just a Juicy Couture wallet that I absolutely love. It's very like big, but still super compact. So where it doesn't take up a ton of space, but I just got my money and my cards all in here. I do keep a scrunchie because I love just to throw my hair up in a bun. I have my, oh my god, it broke, you guys. This is just my AirPod case. It did have this cute little pom-pom hanging off it. I don't know when that broke off, but it is what it is, you guys. It is what it is. At least I still have a cute little case. And I also have these that Charlie and I recently bought. Let me show you how it works. So I'm just going to take my AirPods out. Now, if anybody knows, like, how AirPods work, 
sometimes they feel like they're gonna fall out of your ears and Charlie would normally not bring these to work because he works in a kitchen he was scared that they were gonna fall out so we each bought these off of Amazon and he has like the boy colored ones I have more of the girly colored ones and I decided to put the pink in my bag what is super cool is you take your AirPods and you stick it into the little hole on each side and they are magnetic so it keeps you know everything together now your airpods are on like its own string kind of like when you would wear normal headphones but now everything is the airpods so if i would say charlie let's use charlie as the example or i'm at the gym i can put my airpods in and if accidentally one falls out it's on the string which i think is absolutely amazing super cool super innovative and I just really love that because now it secures your airpods even more because they're around your neck so if one falls out they're not gonna fall onto the ground like now they are safe so I really love that we bought those off of Amazon and I believe you just type in like airpod lanyard and they should pop up still going on to electronics I bought this little portable charger at Walmart it was around like five bucks and I really liked it I thought it was super cute because it was pink and I just keep that in there I needed to charge my phone the other day while I was out and this came in handy so if you have one of these always keep it charged up like every night put it on the charger um, because it really does come in handy when you think that your phone is gonna die I always have this in hand and then I can charge my phone in my purse and I love the fact that my phone will never die. I also keep one more extra charger in my purse just in case because you never know. This one looks like it's kind of breaking so it's like a backup but I just like to keep an extra one. And then I keep the little charger. For the little charger port I keep that in there so when I come home I can just plug this in and then charge it all up. I also have some money which I didn't realize was in that pocket because I have a problem with just stuffing things in like different pockets in my insert and then I forget they're there. I have a little charger end so let's say well with COVID going on I don't go to hang out at my friend's house or we don't go sit in like a Dunkin Donuts or a Starbucks anymore but I still like to keep this in my bag just in case. Let's say I need one while I'm in the house or while I'm in the kitchen I know that I can just go in my purse and grab a little end. I do keep a powder. These are my favorite powders and favorite like collection that um, CoverGirl came out with. It's the CoverGirl Clean Fresh and this is just the translucent one. So it's just the white one and it's just to, for me to blot my nose while I'm out if it gets a little oily. So I love that. If anything has any purple on it, I spilt my smoothie today and it went all over my bag. I was going to cry and thank God my mom like she cleaned it and got it all out but it fell into my purse organizer too, so I was trying to clean things before I sat down to film this video, but I just keep a little bit of Carmex so my lips don't get chapped. I have this Revlon lipstick, it's so pretty, like such a real pretty nude, and this is in the color Bare It All. Hopefully it's not too dark either. We have a light over here that I wanted to turn off because it was throwing the lighting off, but I think like with my light, I think there's enough light. And then this is my favorite, favorite, favorite like lip balm and it's by the brand Skin Iceland and it's solutions for stressed skin and this is the Berry Lip Fix. So oh, it is so good. It keeps my lips so moisturized. I love that so much. And then last thing in this pocket is my cuticle oil that I get from my nail girl Becca. I just love to have this because like I'll just put this on my cuticles throughout the day because I don't want dry cuticles. I like them to look nice and shiny so I do keep this in there. I have to buy a few more of them when I go see her next because I just love having them. I also keep my Kylie perfume with KKW and this is just the pink one. Um, it's so good. I love the scent. I feel like I could wear this when I'm going out or if I'm going, you know, out on a date with Charlie or I'm running to the grocery store. I feel like this for me is just like an everyday perfume. So I love to keep that in my bag in case I need to touch up. I also love the Ariana Grande one. I wear that one a lot too. I have this in my bag. I believe I got this case from the Dollar Tree, but it keeps all my coupons in here. So let's say we have to run to the grocery store and we have a coupon for baby pouches. I can just pull this thing out and then 
I can grab my pouches. I also had one in here for Burger King for an Impossible Whopper. So I love to keep that in there. And plus, like, normally coupons, they just get, like, thrown, like, you know, in somebody's bag or thrown in the trash. And I just like to keep them together. I also have more money that I found. Like I said, I really got to try and put that in my wallet when I get it. I have a pack of gum because gum, I love gum. I also have a Kylie cosmetic lip gloss and then a little lint roller. You guys know, or if you're new here, I have a little chihuahua and we have cats that I always wear the color black so their hair gets all over me, like all over me. I have a little gift card in here that I think I used up so I have to throw that out. In here I have cloth pads. Now this one um, is what they look like. I only have one in here and it literally is just a pad. It's a pad and it's cloth and instead of let's say having like the always wings that are sticky that sticks to your underwear, they have these little clips right here so it clips on to your underwear just like wings do on a regular disposable pad. I filmed a whole video on cloth diapering my son and what it can do to the landfill and how long it takes to decompose. Um, these are just by the brand Lang Spirit. I think you guys know how I am with pronouncing. I just bought these off of Amazon. They have all different designs. I have probably about around maybe 15 cloth pads. I have really big ones and then I have these ones and all you do is you fold it up and you put them in the little bag that they come in. Now let's just say TMI but for my ladies out there that are wondering about cloth pads, once you use them, you take them, you fold it up like this, you close it up and if you have any clean ones in here, take them out, you throw your dirty one in here, zip it up and then when you get home, you throw it into the wash machine and then you can turn this bag inside out and wash this bag and then everything is all clean again. Now don't get me wrong, I still sometimes wear disposables, but I try hard to use my cloth ones just because it's better for the landfill. And plus, let me be honest with you guys, they are so much more comfortable than disposable ones. Like, they literally feel like you're wearing a pillow. So just had to get that out there. I also have a lighter because I always seem to lose my lighters when I want to light a candle. And I thought, well, if I keep it in one spot, if I keep it in my purse, then I'll know where it is. So that's why I have a lighter in there. I also have just a little hair tie because I need to tie my hair up. I have two hand sanitizers in here because you got to stay sanitized, especially with COVID going around. Right now, where I live, we are in the red zone, which is super, super, super scary. Um, we haven't gone out too much, but when we do, we make sure that we keep our masks on and we are hand sanitizing. My little boy is two and he makes sure like if we have to run out somewhere or he had a doctor's appointment today, he wears his mask the whole time. So we always want to make sure that we have hand sanitizer. I also have some lotion in my bag and let's see what else you guys. I have this protein bar, which isn't my favorite. Like, honestly, I really don't like it. But if I really needed something, like if I was like, oh my God, I need to eat something right now, at least I have it. But like I said, definitely not my favorite. Cliff bars are way better in my opinion. But this is just the No Cow Protein Bar Peanut Butter Chocolate Chip. It is no cow, no bull, no way. And it is a protein bar. So it has 21 grams of plant protein and one gram of sugar. So it is really, really good. It's definitely uh, lower calories than a Cliff Bar. It's only 190. Cliff Bars are like over 200. The one that I like the most is 250. So this is definitely better. Um, it's just too proteiny for me. I love protein bars and stuff, but I don't like to taste it. Like it's just too proteiny for me. But it's still, like I said, if I needed it, then I would eat it. I also keep these face masks for Isaiah just in case, let's say I don't bring my diaper bag in somewhere, which once again, we don't go anywhere, but let's just say I don't have his diaper bag where his face masks are. I make sure that I keep two of them. These ones are just by Carter's and I just keep those in my bag. 
just in case. I also keep a little notebook and then I have like five pens because I don't know why they just accumulate in my bag but I always like to keep a little notebook in case I have to write down a grocery list or what I have to do for today and I'm just a very visual person so I like actually writing things down. I'm not really the type of person to write things in my notes on my phone like if I have to I will but I have like five planners. I'm just like a paper person. I love to be able just to write everything down. I also have a T-Mobile card uh, empty. This is real. I didn't go in here and like pull anything out. An Enjoy Life chocolate bar. This is the Rice Milk Crunch. These are really good. I love this brand because their ingredients are like super clean and it's free from like so many things. Wheat, peanuts, tree nuts, dairy, casein, soy, egg, sesame, sulfates, look, whatever that word is, don't know. Mustard, fish, shellfish, crustaceans, like it is free from so much. Like I don't even know what the ingredients are in here, but it's like vegan and it's really, really good. It reminds me of like the Nestle Crunch chocolate bars. It's literally just like that and it's so good. I also have some wet ones, so in case like I run into the grocery store, I will grab a cart, I'll open this up, and I'll wipe the cart just because I want to make sure that I kill the germs on it, and then I'll also wipe my hands as well. So I just keep those. I believe you can get them at Dollar Tree if they're in stock. Oh wait, I have even more hand sanitizer because you just need it. And then I have an empty bank envelope. And then I also have face masks. So I do have a few of them in my bag, probably more than I should, but seeing if I have any more. So I have this cloth one right here. Love this one. I'll just show you guys what it looks like with the flower. Love it. I love to try to match my face masks to my outfits. This is like my go-to every day. It's a Louis Vuitton one. Of course, not real. I bought it at the flea market, but uh... I think I bought these ones together. I also have this one that Charlie bought me and I have like probably about 10 more over there hanging up. Like I just have so many of them because this is the new world. You know what I'm saying? Like I probably won't stop wearing a face mask for like a really long time because with how fast this virus spread, it's kind of scary. So I really don't want to you know, risk anything. So this one Charlie got from me at Michael's and I love the flowers, super girly. And then I do love disposable masks too. I have two of them, I thought. Um, but these ones we just bought off of Amazon and they're just black disposable masks. Sometimes I like to keep an extra one in case like my mom forgets one or um, just to always have an extra one in my bag because you know, why not? I also have this flyer. Oh, this is when we went to the Spooktacular at a zoo near us. And they were like, illuminated swan paddle rides, uh, paddle boat rides. Come be a part of the moving display. A festival time for all to enjoy. So, we got a little flyer for when we were driving in. It was super cool because normally when we went to the Spooktacular, like, two or, th no, two years ago, we were able to walk through it because, once again, COVID wasn't, like, going on. But now, we were able to drive through. So, it was so much... Honestly, it was nicer because you were able to sit in your own car. You were able to look around. The only downside was that when you're walking through the zoo looking at all the carved pumpkins, it takes you a long time. So you're able to sit there. You're able to take pictures. You're able to look at the intricate detail of the pumpkins that people carve. But when you're driving through, like, no word of a lie, it was probably like a seven-minute drive. Like, it was too quick. You know what I'm saying? You pay 50 bucks for seven minutes like it I think that they needed to kind of like plan their time out a little bit better I think because they were running so behind they were kind of like saying go go but you know you it was just very quick I just wish it was a little bit longer honestly in the zipper pocket of the purse I just have my Pandora bracelet and another pen so that makes six pens you guys in my bag in the zipper pocket of my purse organizer, which also comes out, I'm going to leave it in there though, just because I'm going to leave it in there. 
It stays Velcroed. Um, I have some dry shampoo. I also have some deodorant because you never know. My hair is the type of hair now that um, my perm is growing out. I have that very flat, straight hair so that when I spray in some dry shampoo, it kind of gives my hair some volume. I also just have like some spray, some feminine spray. I also have some Tresemme, some hairspray in case, let's say, I need to, you know, revamp my hair. I also have some Potty Poofic, which I don't even use this, but it's nice to have. It smells really good. It smells like tangerine, mandarin, and vanilla. You know, I think it's like the poopery or whatever, but I just keep that one in there. And then I have this little emergency kit. Um, I love always pads. I know I was just talking about cloth pads, but these are my favorite disposables. So I just keep a little Ziploc baggie with two of those in there, an alcohol pad, one little thing of gauze. Uh, I think I have a little bit of ointment in there and some band-aids, just like as a little emergency kit. I do have a first aid kit in Isaiah's diaper bag, but once again, in case I don't have a diaper bag, I like just to keep one of my little homemade emergency kits. I love to keep a small little um, purse size planner in my purse just to be able to write things down. And I think that that, oh, and I do keep my phone in there. I did throw this in there. And let me show you guys what my purse organizer is. And then just so you guys can see, this bag is really, really big and spacious. Um, there is only one pocket on the inside, which is the inside zipper along this side of the bag. There is no other pockets. There's no spot to put your phone. Um, so everything that you put in your bag will just be in the middle unless in that back pocket. So that is why I wanted to buy a purse organizer. This is just by the brand ZTUJO. I bought this off of Amazon. It was around $26. Um, and this is what it looks like. First of all, this piece comes out. I know I said I wasn't going to take it out, but I want to show you guys. So it came with two pieces just like this. Uh, this one right here is the big spot. It has a pocket back here, pockets all along here, pockets all over here, pockets in the front. There's a ton, a ton, a ton of pockets. So for a bag that doesn't really have any pockets, it only has one, this really gives you a ton of storage. Where you okay, you guys, so before my camera turns off on me, for the third time, I put everything all back in my purse organizer, so everything that was all out on this table except these few things that I stick beside the purse organizer, everything else is in this little thing that cost me 26 bucks, which was the best 26 bucks that um, was spent on this, because it just, it's so compact and it fits literally everything that I need to go in my purse. So love this. And then all I do is I take my bag and I will stick this in. You guys can't see me. But all I do is put this bad boy up in this bag. And this, I believe this purse organizer said it would fit a Neverfull. That's why I got it because this bag kind of reminds me of a Louis Vuitton Neverfull, like the size of it. Then I'll just take this stuff right here. I tuck it on the side. And you guys, that is what I keep in my purse. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, also leave a comment below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye divas!